In late February, I asked New Mexico State Athletic Director Mario Mocha what he thought about Sam Houston State head coach Jason Hooten as a potential candidate for the Aggies coaching opening. Mocha's response was quick and to the point. I love him, he said about a month later. Here we are, New Mexico State officially hiring Hooten today as its next head coach after one scandal ridden season under the fired Greg Hire. And more on why Hooten might have the character for the job in a minute. But first, he's a proven winner. He's won 60% of his games at Sam Houston, spent 13 years as the head coach, 19 in all, won 261 games total as the head coach. The Bearcats set a program record with 26 wins this season, and Hooten led them to their first ever win in the NIT. Hooten will get a five-year contract from NMSU. Don't know the full fiscal details yet, but sources tell KTSM that NMSU will about double Hooten's salary at Sam Houston. He made $232,000 per season the last couple of years with the Bearcats. Now, after that scandal-ridden season, under Greg Hire, it was important to get the right guy. NMSU AD Mario Mocha clearly excited about hiring Hooten, saying, quote, I believe Coach Hooten is a tremendous fit for New Mexico State. Throughout his coaching career, he has demonstrated an ability to build hard-nosed, defensive-minded teams. Importantly, his programs are always modeled on character and integrity, end quote. And here's Hooten clearly understanding the situation that he's stepping into, quote, having competed against this storied program in the past. This is an exciting day for me and my family. I appreciate this opportunity to restore New Mexico State University's basketball program to a position as one of the top mid-major programs in the country as we enter into Conference USA. My family and I are eager to become part of the Las Cruces community, end quote. And the process to get Hooten hired longer than NMSU hopes, but Hooten Watch is over. They're hooting and hollering in Aggie land. He flew, uh, NMSU officials did, to Huntsville last week to interview Hooten. Then he and his family, Hooten, were, were actually here Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. They returned home yesterday, and I was told part of the reason this process took so long is because he wanted to make sure that this was the right decision for his family. He really took his time to make sure that this was the right choice. That's got to be good for NMSU officials to hear that they are getting a man of character, especially after what happened under hire. I think this is actually what ultimately pushed uh, Hooten to take the gig. Most importantly, his family was ready to make this move happen. Those first three in the, on that list, uh, we've gone over pretty heavily, but if Hooten can be the guy to clean up the program and restore it to greatness in Conference USA, he'll be a legend in Las Cruces, likely earning a Power 5 job like Chris Jans. Hooten will be introduced on Sunday at 2 p.m. in a press conference that's open to the public at the Pan American Center. Much of his extended family will also be in attendance.